You ask and you shall receive, my little beacons. Hi there! Welcome! Today we are making a Fabzilla jacket. But for the door, let's start this, shall we? But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments in what other sewing shenanigans you would like me to partake next. I love a crazy sewing challenge. The materials! For this project, you will need any type of fabric you find pretty. I am using rest from my puffer jacket gown because I have them and they are water resistant for those rainy days. Foam, rigeline, a sewing machine or your hands, and some snaps. The pattern. I drafted this pattern a few years ago to make a real jacket for sushi. You can download the template and instructions for scaling on my Facebook group. Link in the description below as usual. This is the upper part of the pattern. Already divided in eight pieces because I have eight colors. I have almost no baby blue left. I will start with baby blue here. Green, yellow, orange, red. And red will be the tape that will fixate this onto sushi. Pink, lila, navy. Navy blue. Ta -da -da -da. This is the bottom part. I don't have enough fabric to make it striped, so I will make one color only, minding the red in the middle for the closure. Let's cut all the pieces. I don't know, I seriously don't know how this happens because I clean it and I clean it and I clean it and it's always full of shit. I'm almost giving up, but today I am going to remove every single piece of cardboard that's here. And that's a lot of cardboard. Come on, Hi. <laughs> Sushi. 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 Zoidas, give me thy paw. 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 Nee, andere paw. The assembly. Sushi, go ask me. Can you go eat, please? You didn't have your breakfast yet. Sushi, go eat. Well, let's see which color I have the most. <laughs> the other part will be inside. It will have two colors, apparently. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. I will use this reflecting thing. It makes no sense to use it in the bottom where no one will see, but this is one whole color. The outside will be blue and reflective, and the inside will be green. And this is trash. Beautiful! Let's sew all the parts together. The plans for the stripe assembly are similar to the Montclair jacket. You have fashion and lining fabrics align wrong sides facing, then align the next color right sides facing on it and sew it in place. In order to get a pretty finish on the edges, sew those shut as well. But be careful not to pinch the pieces underneath. Wait a second. <gasps> I saw it wrong. <laughs> I was wondering why the S part was so small. <laughs> I should have sewn these two together and not these. Oh, and they're all over sewn. Oh well, let's take this apart. Mm -hmm. I forgot to turn it inside out. You know those projects, you think, oh my god, this is going to take like two hours max because I've done this so many times before that it will be quick. I know what I'm doing right now. Don't know what I'm doing right now. Let's rip the seam again. Now I can do this the right way. I hope so. This is the body of the thing. It's a little bit longer than the original because sushi's big. She's a big puppy, a chunky puppy. This is the original and it grew with sushi. This is from when she was a baby, from this to here. Then I added the front part. This is how much longer it is now. I need to make this curve here because otherwise it will be flaky and weird. And I will just do the same thing I did, make a dart. I could have considered this dart before, but I didn't know how much I would have to take in. So I left it like this, more of a point than a curve. Let's see how it looks. So, so everybody can see you from afar. And now we have a fitting bum. You look so pretty. You're so pretty. Oh, such a good puppy. You're such a good puppy. Oh, my good puppy. Sign you. Go puppy. 
And now the bottom part. <laughs> Stay. Go, Muti. Come here. Lay. Does she pop? Yeah. Go, Muti. Fine, shush. The scales. These are the scales. Three sizes. Ten scales in total. One, two, three, four, five. And they will be in two rows. I think I want the seams on the outside. I'm gonna do the seams on the outside. <laughs> yes. I'm not even joking. This is how fast I'm sewing. Some cyberpunk foam. Uh -huh. Let's see if I need Rigeline or nah. I think I will put one Rigeline just in case. One Rigeline, so in the middle. I have two strips. I will cut this in three parts and I will install the things in the middle. One Rigeline here and then attach this like so. Row number one and now the row number two. <laughs> Here we have our scales. They're not going to stay up. Now to put some transverse originally in here. We have a kit. I'm not a dog. I don't respond to knips. I'm not a dog. I don't respond to knips. And she's gone. I'm doing a great job in cutting them all the same size. Awesome job. Directed. <laughs> Rigeline transversely and I understitched the seams to the outside, so they're up, they're up. Haha. <laughs> Finish the edges with biostate. They will be installed to the start with buttons and snobs. Oh look at this. This sound weird because I'm wearing a mask. This is oh no. I don't know if this is black and old or not. I'm not gonna get it tested because it might be. Now I treated the wall already with core, this thing here, and I'm letting it work its magic so I can come back and scrub it off the walls. I started taking off the remaining wallpaper. I was very happy to see that we have three layers of wallpaper. This is the first layer, this is the second layer, and here is the third layer. I forgot about this. I have no idea how to finish this. Fabzilla, Fabzilla. How do I fix this? I have no idea how to sew v-necks. I cut myself and I don't even know where. Bleeding a lot. I'll make the v-neck with this. Like a bias tape. Open, it will be a v, right? <laughs> this, no, like this. It's one way to find out. <gasps> yeah! What will happen now? Like this uh, here, and then it's like this here, and this is not the uh, right. <laughs> Let me this point here. It's not the right way, but I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I have now this pointy thingy here. <clears throat> Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty. Thank you for watching another episode of How Now to Sew Things. Na na na, go mo. Fine issue. It's not a mistake, it's a design choice. Always. Doesn't even look that bad. Attach fabric snacks to the side for the closure. I also started cleaning this here, so now I can access all of the wood pieces without hurting myself, finally. Just have to finish painting this side so I can put the stuff back in. And all of this will be sorted and put in there. I look very pretty, this mask hurts my nose. And Steve just came downstairs to check things. Now it's time to install some snaps. Ta-da! It is installed. <laughs> Time for the review. A monster. This is horror. 
Destoroya. Sushi, this is a far free channel. I didn't even throw it yet. Whoa! <laughs> we found Fabzilla's lair. Look at the lair of the Fabzilla. In the wild habitat of the Fabzilla. Its tongue is 400 meters long. And his screams are very menacing. All the menacing Fabzillas. Snaps don't work. Do 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 do. Ich weiß das Wasser nicht trinken. Sushi, stop drinking this water. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. A Fabzilla in the wild. The mighty Fabzilla screen, please. 